Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you want to see how I made this mask, you see, if you want to see how I made this mask and this mask, then keep on watching. Be strong. Be strong. Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. I'm going to show you guys how to do like non-medical face masks. Um, just because the CDC has recommended that anyone over the age of two should um, be wearing a face mask when they're not at home. So if they have to go to the groceries um, with their parents or... Um, just in general, just to protect anyone. So me and my sister have decided to do a video like ASAP just so we have like the potential that if anyone sees it, they can do it and a lot of, and we have the potential of saving someone not getting the coronavirus or anything. So either way, you guys should be washing your hands after you come inside from anywhere um, and following all those like personal hygiene things just to lower your risk of getting the coronavirus. So today I'm going to show you a super easy, super simple, non-sewing face mask or like not like just to cover your face and your nose to, but so look cute and like fashionable because the disposable ones are kind of ugly. So the three things that you're going to need is coffee filters it's obviously optional um the thing the second thing you're gonna need is fabric um i've actually pre-cut mine to bandana size i don't have my bandana i lost it it's somewhere in my house but my sister bought this fabric at walmart so i'm just using what was left from hers you may not be able to find any fabric so you could honestly use um any old clothes that you don't that doesn't fit you but let's get on to showing you the super simple non so face mask so you just have to be folding like dude it's super easy so i best see all y'all in the store if i see you with a face mask so what you're gonna do i just obviously lay it down flat um you're gonna put the coffee filter in the center like right here where your face would be or where your mouth would be and then you just fold it into three different parts so you're gonna just fold it over like this fold it like this and then you're gonna grab a rubber band people have been using headbands they've been using a lot of different types of rubber bands um, me and my sister decided to use Lumi bands just because they're not sold out anywhere and they're like super stylish and kind of cute. So you're going to go like this. You're going to grab your rubber band. You're going to put it through the here. Um, you're going to fold it over like this, obviously, just so it's like this. And then like that, you don't you just need to fold it. Um, you have to grab another one with a rubber band. I'm using another Looms. Lumi bands and then you just put it in here kind of make it look like a like candy and then you fold it over and then you just super easy super simple um it protects you like it does the job dude like it covers your face obviously um you can choose different fabrics, the coffee filters here. So it just kind of protects you from things. But there it is. Like, there you have it. Super simple, like, face mask. This is cute. Even though it has flowers, you can choose different fabrics. And it protects you. So that's basically all you have to do. Like, you don't have to go out and buy some because you're probably not going to find some. So... Just make your own let's move on with this video so the second one i'm going to show you how to do is a lot more harder you're actually going to need half the sew we're going to do it the hard way obviously it's going to be a lot more time consuming and you're going to have to have patience to do every single stage look nice and in a straight line so it doesn't look super bad 
but it'll be worth it. And then you're good, dude. Like, everyone should have a mask by now. So for this one, I'm actually going to use a different type of fabric. This is the fabric that I chose and I bought at Walmart. It's cute. Like, you see, it's like this. It has little thingies. All right, so um, the fabric is about 8 by 14 inches. Um, so what you're going to have to do is just fold it. The world is kind of disgusting. And then you're going to want to sew along the edges. So you're just gonna have to sew like right here, right here, and right here. Um, but first, you gotta fold it. I'm gonna grab one of them, put it up like this. And just fold it a few moments later all in reality you have to do is just sew here here and here like the sides and the top because this is a folded part so it doesn't really need to be um sewed but all you gotta do So that's all that's all you're gonna need an iron for. so all you're gonna do after this is extend it out and just sew the top and the sides so i'll be back when i have that done all right so after it's all stitched it should look like this as you can see i stitched it all around and then it's already ironed i ironed it again just because i needed it to be like that so next what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna need to get more fabric. So what you're actually gonna do is you're gonna need to get more fabric and then you're gonna have to cut little like slivers of them to put here just so you can put the elastic or the band. So I'm just gonna take like something like this um, just so you can like stitch it on like this and then fold it to stitch it on the other side and then put right through the hole your band or whatever you're gonna use. So I'll be right back once I'm finished. All right, so this is my final product. I already added the band. Um, so most people sewed in their elastic, but I just chose to like make a hoop and then just try to slide loom bands like that just like slide it in and so you just like this and you just go because it's folded and ironed you just go like this you see so this is our final product for this one this one actually looks really nice and y'all obviously know about the one the first one that i did which is this one just it almost exactly the same only that the other one takes a little more time and effort and it's less bulky all right then so that's going to conclude the video make sure you like comment any new video ideas and subscribe you gotta subscribe <laughs> and make sure you have your post notifications on so you get an alert every time i post because i'm going to be posting some interesting stuff all right then bye <laughs>